Okay, so I think this is recording now. All right, so um, this is the test video for Friday. I'm trying recording with a microphone. Hopefully, um, you can hear me a little bit better than you could before. Um, you can also see my face, hopefully, so that'll be cool. Um, so just as a reminder, what we went over yesterday on Thursday, sorry. What we went over is this. So if we have a right triangle, I'm going to make it a 5, 12, 13 right triangle. Um, I'm going to use theta. So that's theta. I'm going to use that to indicate my reference angle. Reference angle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put that in the corner. It doesn't actually matter at this point which one it is as long as I declare which one. So that's my reference angle. Once I do that, I need to name my sides. So I'm, I know that my long side, 13 is the longest. It's also across from the 90 degree angle. I know that's going to be my hypotenuse. Um, I know that the side across from theta is going to be the opposite because it's opposite of the reference angle. And the side that is attached is the adjacent. Once I label my sides, now I can go through and I can figure out um, all my relationships. So remember, so, ka, toa. So, so is for sine. So, sine of theta is opposite divided by hypotenuse. So, that is 12 divided by 13. Cosine of theta is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. That's from the ka. That's going to be... 5 divided by 13, and tangent of theta is TOA. So that's opposite divided by adjacent. So that's going to be 12 over 5. So those are my three sets of relationships for this specific triangle and for that specific location of theta right there. If theta was in the other angle, all of these would be different than what they are now. Um, so use this video to help you go in and do the, the short homework assignment that you see in your, homeworks, um, your homework section.